Hey guys, Butter Puddle here, and today we're going to measure the height of a tree. Um, and the tree I have in mind is a fairly tall tree, so we can't just like run a tape measure up it or uh, throw a rope up there uh, to measure the height of it. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to use another person as a, a second vertical height, and then we're going to set up similar triangles using parallel lines within a triangle in order to determine the height of the tree. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about over there at uh, my setup where I can record straight down. I'll show you the diagram for what I'm talking about and then we'll uh, go on outside and figure out the height of the tree. Alright guys, so I have our diagram here. We have our tree here. And then we have our, our person um, It's going to be standing here. And then we're going to I'm going to be use uh, my camera to look up and line up the top of the tree with the person's head. And what that's going to do here is it's going to create two similar triangles. So, see, we have two right angles here. So these lines are parallel, which means we have parallel lines within a triangle, which means this triangle is going to be similar to this triangle, which means their sides are going to be uh, in the same proportion to each other. So the first thing we're going to do is give these points names that are meaningful so that we'll remember what they mean. So the top of the tree we're going to call point T. The bottom of the tree here where it meets the ground we're going to call point G. Um, the assistant I have is Jelly Puddle. So where she is standing on the ground will be point J. And where her head is, we'll call it point H, and where the camera is, we'll call it point C. And so because we have parallel lines within a triangle, we can say that triangle T, G, C is similar to triangle H, J, C. And we want to find the height of the tree, which is the length of line T, G. So we want to create an expression that solves for that. And we will know this length, this length, and this length. So since we already know this length and that length, what we want to do is we're going to start with that, with these corresponding sides. So it'll be the ratio of GC to JC. That's going to be equal to some other ratio. And we're going to do the ratio of these two set corresponding sides of the triangle, which is T G to H, J, and then we're going to just rearrange this for just the height of the tree. So the height of the tree to the ground is going to equal, equal the distance from the base of the tree to the camera divided by jelly puddle to the camera times the height of jelly puddle. And so now we're just going to go outside and get our measurements and plug them in and find the height of the tree. Alright, so this is the tree we're going to measure and determine the height of. And this is my sister Jelly Puddle. She's going to be helping us. Alright, so I've laid out baseball bats here in a straight line uh, from the tree. And Jelly Puddle is standing 60 feet from the tree. So that's our first measurement. And I'm going to see how far back I have to go. To, or how far in I have to go to line up the top of the tree with our head. Alright, so I had to come into a distance of 35 inches in order to fit the tree in. Or just to have the top of the tree line up with her. Alright, so the distance from Jelly Puddle to the base of the tree was 60 feet. And then the distance from her to me was 35 inches, which is about 2.92 feet. And her height is 4 foot 11, which is about 4.92 feet. So we're going to use those three values with the equation uh, we set up up here to solve for the height of the tree. So therefore, TG is going to equal the ground of the camera, which is those two values added together there. So about 62.92. divided by jelly puddle to the camera which is 2.92 and then multiplied by the height of jelly puddle which was about 4.92
and that is equal to approximately 106 feet. So we found out that the height of our tree is approximately 106 feet. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more uh, videos like this one, don't forget to check out the Practical Uses of Mathematics playlist, which uh, is linked here on the end screen for, for more videos like this one.